Hi, everyone. Uh, there's a lot of uh, information on uh, online about, I should say, rudder. control gust locks for the airplane. Lots of things available, stuff you can buy, uh, stuff you can make. I've seen people on Vans Air Force make some real fancy ones. And uh, I'd just like to show you mine, and they are ultra simple. And everything is right there for uh, like okay, here they are as they come out of the bag. Not very pretty, but extremely effective. Everything homemade, and the total weight is like eight ounces. Let's get them straightened out here. Okay, there they are. Uh, good thing about this, it was no cost. I'm gonna go over them a little bit. This here is the rudder control, uh, rudder gust lock. You can see I got some Velcro inside there just to protect the skin of the aircraft. I'll show you how that works. This here is just a little bit of uh, Lowe's little pieces of wood. Same thing with some Velcro inside to protect the skin of the aircraft. This is for the elevator. Um, this is my PDOT cover. And these things are made out of um, pipe insulation. You can see it right there, just, uh, just the foam. Wrapped in duct tape to protect the, the foam from tearing. And of course, these long orange remove before flight looking ribbons. So let's get them on the plane and uh, see how that works. Okay, these are the aileron gus locks. You can see I just push the aileron down a little bit, make that hole right there, and being the foam, it just squeezes right down in there. Push it down, and that ain't going anywhere. Certainly not going to be blown out by the wind. We'll do the other side and the PDOT cover. PDOT cover, just right there. Not going anywhere. And same thing on this side. Just push that down a little bit. It's compressing the one on the other side. And squeeze that, work it down in there just a little. It's hard to do with one hand. And I'm actually right-handed, so it's easier with my right hand. There you go. Now that's down in there, and that's not going to come out. I did it like this with this so that you can see them from the cockpit. Um, I don't know how I could miss not remembering to take those out. All right, I got the phone propped on a box there. But you can see how these are, just a couple of pieces of plywood with the Velcro soft part of the Velcro in there for protection of the skin and a piece of uh, elastic cord. It's got a pretty good stretch. Just slide that right there. And then we'll move to the other side. You see that one? And I leave them up here towards the front just for, uh, rather than sliding them back at all, uh, just it's got more leverage as opposed to back here, you know. Um, and this is strong here. There's a rib there, and of course there's rib in here, so that's very strong. And both of these together really secure that elevator. It's got a little room to move, but they're not going to come out of there. All right, let's do the rudder. This side I have this little thing so that I can put this little dowel rod in there, and it won't get through. And then I pull down on this. That keeps, me, that keeps it from falling off while I'm inserting it. So all you have to do is and there it is. And you can see it really it's got a little bit of room for movement, but it protects the uh, the rudder from uh, banging around. And that's it. Those are my control gust locks. Uh, dirt cheap and very effective and super light. And now when you're ready to remove it, it's just the opposite it's just the opposite of putting it up there. Put that stick in, grab this so it doesn't just fall off onto the plane, push that up, and that's it. And of course, the others you just pull out. And removing the ailerons is just as simple as wiggling it around, making sure that it's whole and nothing down in there, and there's not. We'll go around to the front. We'll get the PDOT tube cover. 
twist that off. And this, the second one's really easy because you can just tip that. Everything is whole, nothing down in the hole there. And those are my gus locks. No expense, eight ounces, very effective. If for some reason they weren't enough, well, that's probably going to be the least of my problems. Another thing I do to help me remember to remove the gus locks is once they're installed in the plane, I take the bag, which also has some tie down rope in it, so it's lumpy, and I set it in the pilot seat. That way, if I ever get in, there's no way to miss that bag, which is a great reminder to get out there and remove the gus locks.